Kitty? Ready now, John. Good. Carol, are you ready? Yes, John, I'm ready. Good. He'll be coming in soon. Any moment now. Did you get a bearing? Yes. I'm coming in now. Kenny? That's it. Give the results to Tim and see what he comes up with. Dear. Do help me find him soon. He sounded so desperate. Well, we all did when we broke out. At least I suppose I did. There was no one around to listen then. Stephen, Stephen Jameson. Yes. Yes, of course. I'll be over right away. Uh, Mr. Jameson, please. It's me. I, 
I've just had a call from General Hospital about Stephen. Yes, Stephen. No, he, he was found unconscious in the street. Yes. Yes, I'm going over right now. Mm. Are you ready, Tim? Yes. Good, let's see then. Kenny was here on Tower Bridge. Carol was here in Hyde Park. If we cross-reference between these two points, Stephen's cries must have been coming from here. That's where they must have picked him up. I expect they've taken him to hospital. I was. If only we could make out what he's saying. Have the parents been informed? Yes, I phoned his mother a short while ago. There doesn't appear to be anything seriously wrong, but uh, he'll have to be kept under observation. I'd like to talk to the parents before they see the boy. There could be a medical history. In the meantime, he should be left to rest. Let me know if there are any changes. We must not let him go to sleep. Why not? It would give him a bit of a rest, wouldn't it? Now, don't you realize? If he breaks out in his sleep, he might jaunt unconsciously into somewhere dangerous. Anyway, the human body can only stand so much, and breaking out is stretching it to its utmost limits, especially in Stephen's case. Well, how long have we got? Tim? About six hours. After that, the longer he is left, the greater the danger. Seven hours is the absolute maximum he can stay alive. Tim, get online with the medical computer and find out which hospital he's in. We've got to find him. Mrs. Jameson, Doctor. Oh, thank you, nurse. Oh, do sit down, Mrs. Jameson. I won't be a minute. Oh, nurse, I've just had another look at Mrs. Bailey. And let me know as soon as the x-rays come through, will you? Certainly. Well, let me see. Um, your son was admitted earlier today. How is he? Oh, he's a bit quieter now. What's wrong with him? Well, uh, it's too early to tell. I've examined him very carefully. There doesn't appear to be very much wrong with him, apart from heavy bruising where he fell. I'm uh, awaiting the t results of the tests and the, and the x-rays that we've taken. Do you think it's serious? Oh, no, I don't think there's anything to be alarmed about. But uh, it would be useful if you could tell me a bit about your son. Well, yes, anything I can. Yes, has uh, anything like this ever happened before? Never. At least not that I'm aware of. Is there a history of epilepsy in the family? Oh, no. You don't think he... Oh, no, no. It's just that we have to check these things. Purely a routine question, you understand. Uh, no one in the family that has been subject to fits or mental disturbances of any kind? No, definitely not. Is Stephen an only boy? Yes. I see. Now, now what about his school? Have they noticed anything unusual? Not really. You, you sound uncertain. Well, his teacher did have a word with me a week or so back. Yes? He's never been terribly good at school, but he is intelligent. Sure he is. Well, she said he'd been daydreaming a lot lately, hadn't been trying as hard as he used to. And did you talk to him about it? Yes, I did. And what did he say? He said he was tired. You see, he hasn't been sleeping well. He's been having very bad nightmares. I see. Does he describe them to you? Sometimes. Sometimes he does. I don't know if this is important, but he says he hears voices. Voices? Stephen, 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 Stephen Jameson, I think you'd better come quickly. He's at the Claremont General Hospital here. The hospital have put him on a diagnostic computer. I'm online to the computer now, and the readings look critical. We must make contact immediately. Carol, you go. Right. Tim, is your fix accurate enough to jaunt a direct to his bedside? Of course. Good. Carol. Be gentle with him. He's very frightened and in a bad way. We'll just wait until his room is clear. How is he? Can I 
see him? Oh, he's fine. He's sleeping now. I feel he needs the rest. It would be better if you came back later to see him. Oh. Now, please don't worry yourself unduly, Mrs. Jameson. Stephen's in good hands. Stephen, wake up. It's all right. There's nothing to be frightened of. Stephen, listen to me. I want to help you, but I can't unless you come back. Please, Stephen, come back. Stephen, please come back. You've got to come back. If you don't, you'll die. You'll die. You'll die. You'll die. You'll die. Stop it. Stop it. Do you hear? Hello. I'm Carol. There's nothing to worry about. You're quite safe. You're in a hospital, but you're all right. Look, there isn't much time to explain, but will you try and listen? I'm a friend of yours, Carol. But I've never seen you before. It doesn't matter. I'm here to help you. Really. Stephen, look at me. Look carefully into my eyes. Now, do you trust me? Yes. Good. Now, I want you to do something. Just try and relax. And imagine that your mind is a fist. A great big fist clenched tight. Now, let it open, slowly. No, don't let any other thoughts come into your head. Just think of the fist opening very slowly, like a flower. I can feel you, right here inside my head. What's happening? You're becoming one of us. Who's us? people? Who are they? We're the next development. What development? The next development of the human race. Homo superior. Look, I'll try and explain quickly before anyone comes in. As you know, Homo sapiens, that is, ordinary man, evolved over many thousands of years from being primitive ape-like creatures until he became man as we know him. Like you and me? Well, no, not like you and me. We're different. We're Homo superior. But we don't like to call ourselves that, so we call ourselves the Tomorrow People. But why? Why should such a thing happen? Well, because the development of man hasn't just suddenly stopped. It's going on all the time. But in the last hundred years, everything has speeded up. The world has changed out of all recognition, and human beings have changed with it. But why me? Why not anyone else? Well, it isn't only you. At the moment, there are four of us, including you. But I expect there are lots of others. Perhaps every child is a tomorrow person, but doesn't realise it. Or is too frightened to. Couldn't you tell them? No. We have to wait till they call us, like you did. Then we can take over, stop wars and put the world in order. Us children? Oh, yes. You see, we are man's only hope of survival. We're peaceful. We can't wage wars. And we can't kill. Well, not deliberately, anyway. Well, what happens if someone makes war... On us. It makes no difference. We can try and stop them, but that's all. It does make us a bit vulnerable, though. Hurry up. The old medical profession here soon. Here, you make a smashing surgeon. You won't tell anyone about the tomorrow people. Not anyone. Why? Because. 
People are frightened of anyone with extra powers. Like the witches in the Middle Ages, they burnt them. And they'd probably do much the same to us if they find out we're different. Either that, or we'd become political pawns in a power game. Or perhaps they'd just treat us as circus freaks, but... Whichever way you look at it, it's vital that no one finds out. Yes, I can see that. I have to go soon. How shall I find you again? Mind talk. We're telepathic and we can read each other's minds. What? All the time? <laughs> no, only when you want us to. You keep saying us. Who are us? Oh, well, there's John. He's 17. He was the first to break out. He's nice, kind and clever. Break out? Is that what happened to me? Yes. And then there's Kenny. He broke out when he was very young. He's only 12 and he's got special gifts. You'll meet them soon. Oh, I wish I could come now. Try and be patient, Stephen. You've only got to stay here a few more days. We've got to explain to your parents first, anyway. Oh, that's true. What am I going to tell them? Oh, we'll talk about that later. Look, I must go. Afternoon, miss. Just a minute. What do you think you're doing? A surgery, miss. He's wanted in the operating theatre. They're going to perform an acute strop of cockatoo me. I don't believe you. Who are you? Haven't we introduced ourselves? I'm Dr. Jekyll, and this is my very good friend, Mr. Hyde. Quickly, Stephen, run! Stay where you are, kid. Oh! Fire the fool! Something's wrong. She's not answering. Quick, Kenny, Link. No, no, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. Carol. Carol, are you all right? Come on. Tim, I'm bringing Carol back. She's very weak. Extra power, please. Sort of amulet. In the shape of a snake. Does it mean anything to you, Kenny? Not me. It does to me. But I can't think why. There's something about it. Any ideas on who the two blokes were, Tim? No. But I'm fairly certain why Stephen has been kidnapped. Why? It's hardly likely to be for money. Stephen's parents are not rich enough. Seems likely, therefore, there is another and better reason. Somebody knows he's a tomorrow person. From now on, you can talk to us anytime you like. The tomorrow people are never alone. The tomorrow people are never alone anywhere. Carol? I heard him! So did I. Quiet, you two. Stephen, this is John. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Are you all right, Stephen? I think so. I'm in an ambulance. Well, don't worry. We'll soon have you out of there. What are you going to do? Get a stronger fix on him. Quick, link, everybody. Contact him. Yes. Stephen, can you still hear us? Much stronger now. Now, what I'm going to say to you may sound silly, but I want you to do something. What? Recite a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme? Quickly, Stephen, it's important. I can't think of one. Oh, Harry, Stephen! What about the man in the moon? The man in the moon came down too soon and asked his way to Norwich. He went... 
He stopped. Stephen, what's happened? Report. Mission accomplished. Silence the fixed bus. There was a delay at the hospital. Ah, it was the girl. What girl? The one by his bed. A nurse? Well, I didn't have no uniform on. More like a visitor, I'd say. The, the old bunch of grapes bit. Where is this girl now? Uh, he put her out into the land and not. Idiots! Hey? Eh? Don't you realize that this girl was one of them? Why was this complication not reported immediately? Well, it, it all happened so fast. Didn't it, Lefty? Uh, yeah. Silence! You are what the man said. Shut up. Take him to the cell. Tomorrow people are never alone. You can talk to any of us, anytime you like. Anytime. 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 Carol? John? Carol, can you hear me? Come in if you can hear me. You are wasting your time. The band around your forehead is a silencer. It soaks up all telepathic transmissions. Your friends cannot hear you. Who are you? You may call me Jedi Kaya. What do you want? I want to help you. You were in hospital, remember? You do remember the voices, don't you, Stephen? Who is Carol? I don't know. I do not believe you, Stephen. Now, who is Carol? I repeat. I warn you. No, Jenny Kaya. He knows about the others. He can tell us where they are. Enough, I said. That is not the way. Leave us. You are subjecting yourself to unnecessary pain by not answering the question. Who, who are you? And oh, where is he? Well, according to Tim, he's in an ambulance traveling in this direction. Probably along one of these back roads here. Yes, I know, but they could be anywhere within 30 miles radius by now. Oh, must you do that? Why shouldn't I? Because one of these days you're going to do it at school or somewhere like that. No, I won't. Pity we can't harness Kenny's kinetic powers. It could come in useful. Yeah, it might be able to move houses, big stuff like that. Well, that's not going to help us find Stephen. Kenny, have you ever thought of using telekinesis as a source of information? How do you mean? Well, you know that uh, hand-carved figure back at your place? Yeah. Well, it's old and handmade, and it's probably got a considerable history. Now, if I wanted to find out something about its previous owners, I'd let it communicate. I mean, objects will if you're sensitive enough. And since that amulet belonged to one of the blokes that kidnapped Stephen... Do you think you could make that work, Kenny? I'll try. I think it'd be better if you tried outside. There's too much thought interference in here. Good luck. It's a bit of a long shot, isn't it? I don't think so. It was a technique used by Colonel Fawcett in South America. Now, he wasn't even a tomorrow person, so if it worked for him, it should work for Kenny. Oh, well, anything's worth trying. We've just got to find Stephen. Hello, Sunshine. Enjoying the view? Where am I? Now, you see, Lefty? An inquiring mind. That's a great sign of intelligence, that is. Now, you've always had an inquiring mind, haven't you, Lefty? A what? Exactly. Only you never, never let on, did you? That's why everybody thinks you're stupid. Come on, Iwapa. Where are you taking me? Questions, questions, questions. I never knew a kid who asked so many questions. Oh! Idiots! Seize him! Just you try that again, that's all. Tens? I'm sorry. What on earth were you doing down there? I went back with Tara 
marriage. Well, we keep jaunting on and off like that and half London will know about us. Half London? One policeman? A policeman? <laughs> Why don't you put a notice up? This way to the TP lab so that we all end up in a zoo exhibited as the scientific wonder of the age. The new species of man. Roll up and have a look. I've said I'm sorry. Oh, turn it up, you two. We've got other things to think about. I'm really sorry, especially about losing the amulet. I suppose we'll never find Stephen. Okay, it's all right. Just that I'm scared some sap's going to find out about us. That'll be the end of this. I think I've got a picture of the amulet anyway. Where? Newspaper. Well, how long ago? About a week ago. Someone was wearing it. Let him go. Now, I shall ask you once more. Who was the girl? If you refuse, I shall have to resort to other methods. What is the full name of the girl at your bedside? What girl? Very well. Put him in the machine. to know. He has a very nasty temper as old Jedi Kaya, especially when he's crossed. I'm not frightened of him. Now, I shall ask you just once more. Who is Carol? What do we know about this Jedi Kaya, Tim? Very little. According to the newspaper account, he arrived in this country a few days ago from America with the intention of establishing an English branch of his new religion. There's something odd about the story, though. What? I've checked with US immigration, and they've never heard of him. Nor has the international travel computer. Wasn't well, that unusual? Practically unheard of. I'd like to make a suggestion. Yes? Take another look at the news picture. As I thought. It's the same as the one I brought from the hospital. You ought to recap. Yes. Let's link. Contact him. Acknowledge. Check. It's only got one eye. The only one-eyed creatures I've ever heard of are the Cyclops. The Cyclops are one-eyed giants from Greek mythology. They're said to have a taste for human flesh. But where does that get us? I'm not sure. However, I have found this in a local Surrey paper. He has taken a lease of Bentham Hall. Apparently, the local people have been complaining about the activities of this Jedekiah and his motorbike thugs. I think we'll pay a little visit to Bentham Hall. You can go. I said leave us! Contact! Contact!
Examination complete. May I acknowledge? Confirm full telepathic ability. He also has telekinetic and teleportation ability, but is not yet aware of this. The girl, Carol, is one of a group of telepaths known as the Tomorrow People. They are essential to my purpose. Get them. I have the boy. He can serve as my decoy. Jaunt, everybody. from one section of space to another. The slasher way of getting around, just wait till you learn it. I'll never be able to appear just like that. Yes, you will. All tomorrow people have the ability. It's one of our talents. Though we need Look, a bit we'll of a power. we'll talk about that later. We'd better get a move on before those thugs get here. Yeah. Grab the girl! Quick, Stephen, outside! Jaunt, everybody. trick with one of these belts no, not really the jaunting belts are simply boosters amplifiers to increase our range for longer jaunts well it isn't a trick teleportation is one of our three major talents three t's Stephen. telepathy that's mind talk teleportation that's jaunting and telekinesis and what's that give me a demonstration kenny okay Right. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll never be able to do it like Kenny. Oh, of course you will, after a few sessions with Tim. Who's Tim? Our computer. Say hello to Stephen, Tim. Hello, Stephen. What? If that's Tim. It talks. I do. How do you work, Tim? <laughs> now you're asking. Basically, I'm a biological computer. I don't have tapes and discs. Instead, in these tubes are biological fluids. You mean you're alive? Not exactly, no. But I am capable of original thought about things I have not been programmed for. Can he be controlled? I don't think he likes you, Tim. I do, but... You feel uneasy. It's understandable. No, he can't be controlled. But if we ever wanted to shut him up, I suppose we could switch off the power to his speech and transmitter circuits. That's this switch here. But even that wouldn't stop him thinking. 
know, but you've given me something to think about. Don't worry, Tim. I'm sure we'll be friends. Where are we anyway? In part of a derelict underground station. Kenny found it. He lives just around the corner. Oh, now, do you pay for all this? Ah, that's John. He's a terrific inventor and earns all we need for building up the lab. Crikey, it's getting late. Do you mind if I go? I promise not. No, you go, Kenny. We'll settle Stephen in for the night. OK. See you. Bye, Kenny. Bye. I'll never get used to all this. Of course you will. Look, this is where you sleep. <laughs> hey, watch it. Mm, not bad. What about food, Carol? Do you want somewhere to eat? Oh, no, Tim sees to that. He cooks too. Yes, kind of. Crikey, I'm tired. Why don't you have a little rest? Not surprised after what he's been through. Well, you can go home now if you like, Carol. I can look after things here. Are you sure? Sure. Well, just call me if you need anything. <sighs> what a day. Well, what's wrong, Stephen? It's my parents. They must be worried stiff. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. What did you do about your parents? I mean, do they know you're a tomorrow person? Oh, yes. Couldn't possibly manage without their cooperation. I can't think what I'm going to say. How am I going to explain, John? Would you like me to do it? I could jaunt over there right away, if you like. Would you? Sure. The sooner the better. There's going to be quite a panic out for you. In fact, they're probably out looking for you right now. Be smashing if you would, John. Well, don't you worry. I'll let them know where you are. If there's anything you want, Tim will look after you. Thanks. Bye. Are you all right, Stephen? Yes, I'm all right. Mrs. Jameson? Yes? Oh, my name is John. I've come to see you about Stephen. Oh, come in, come in. Are you hungry, Stephen? Yes, starving. Can I recommend? Mm. What about chicken and pineapple, duck l'orange, Californian ham? I'll settle for steak and chips. Can you manage that? <laughs> of course. What about something to drink? Ginger beer, please. Smashing. I think I like being one of the tomorrow people, Tim. A tomorrow person? What is this, some kind of a kid's game? If it is, it's in very poor taste. Stephen's disappeared. He hasn't, Mrs. Jameson. I was with him less than a minute ago. What? Where is he? Where is he? Now, it's not as simple as that. Now, please let me explain. You'd better. And be quick. The police are out looking for him. I'm going to phone them. No, don't do that. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jameson, but I have to show you. What I am, Stephen is. What I can do, he can do. He's quite safe. I promise you, he's quite safe. So 
worry to waste food, Tim. Nothing is wasted here. Now to follow. Apple crumble, ice cream. Nothing more for me, thanks, Tim. No. 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 No, leave me alone. No. No. Leave me alone. No. No. Stephen? What's wrong? Are you ill? What's wrong? Stephen. Call John. Call Carol. John, John, wake up. John, John, wake up. Something's wrong. Mm -hmm. huh? Shh, don't make too much noise. I must talk to you. Huh? Oh, Carol, what are you doing here? Something's wrong. Huh? I woke up about an hour ago and I had a hunch oh, that come something... come here at four o'clock in the morning. I must think of a hunch. When I tried to get Tim, he didn't answer. <sighs> so I thought I'd better jaunt straight over, but the bells aren't working. Oh. Why did you get here, then? I jaunted small distances. I had about five stops on the way. All right, Tim, jump me in. Jump me in, Tim. The power's been switched off. See? I wasn't imagining it. No. Let's try Stephen. Stephen? 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 Can you hear us, Stephen? Come, Come in if you can, can hear us, Stephen. 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 Have you got your crystal? Yeah, um, in here, I think. Report, Tim. Somebody must have switched him off. Let's get back to the lab. What about Kenny? Well, there's no sense in waking him up until we've found out what's wrong with Tim. Gave him a quick burst of the old snake amulet. Uh, what's it the minute you open the door, boss? Good. Now, I want him kept under constant surveillance. Pardon? I want him watched at all times. Did you bring the equipment? Outside, boss. Good. Come with me. Lefty, I want you to keep Sleeping Beauty here under constant surveillance. Hey? Watch him, stupid. <laughs> This is the first time Tim's let us down. He hasn't let us down. He's not capable of going against us. Well, he could be if he was reprogrammed. He's programmed to be specifically part of us. What? Well, it's like saying that Kenny or Stephen... Carol, what do we know about Stephen? Oh, John, you don't think he's one of those, do you? Well, he could have been a decoy to lead them to the lab. Well, they did let him escape rather easily. No, John, that's impossible. Stephen's an ordinary schoolboy. We know when and where he was born. We know where he lives. We know what schools he went to. But you even met his mother. Oh, no, John, he must be one of us. He must be. All we know is that there was a boy called Stephen Jameson. That doesn't mean that our Stephen's the same one. Or even a boy at all. Or even human. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What do you mean, not even human? Well, you've been to the planet Sophostria? We all have. We know it's possible for an intelligence to exist without any physical form at all. You think that Stephen and those others are from another planet? Well, we jaunt to other worlds. 
We know that aliens visit our world occasionally. Yes, but this is a closed world. No aliens are supposed to come here. Well, my dad's not supposed to park on a double yellow line, but he does. John, perhaps you're right. Let's contact the Sophostrians. Maybe they can help us. We can't. They don't believe in interfering in the affairs of a primitive planet. Besides, we need Tim to help us contact them. No, Carol, we're on our own. Well, then let's go. No, John, we, we can't do that. If we haven't got Tim, we'll have to jaunt it in short hops under our own power. Yeah. What is this place? It's a derelict station, boss. Used to be one of the busiest places on the underground, this did. And they uh, discovered this geological fault. Nothing they could do about it. So they had to close the old line and dig another one. I see. Cover them kids, though, to use this place as a front. You are quite sure there is only one entrance? Apart from the tunnels, boss. All the others have been bricked up. You have checked? First thing we did when we got here. Just like you told us. Good. Be careful with those boxes, you fool. If you want to ruin everything, What's that then, boss? In terms that you would understand, an interceptor. Oh, yeah? What does it intercept then? You'll see. Ah, the principle is simple enough. The antenna here is a scanner. You select a point where it can scan an entire area and then activate it by depressing this switch here. Now, I want these instruments positioned and activated throughout the entire area all vantage points. I want every square yard of the station and its approaches covered. Now get on with it. What's going on? This fool nearly let the prisoner activate the computer. Yes, Silence! Yes. No more incompetence will be tolerated. If there are any lapses from any of you, you will suffer. Oh, come on, boss. Silence! Tie him in that chair. Yes, boss. Have the interceptors been put in position? Yeah, they're in position. I want another one brought in here immediately. See to it. What happens now, boss? Takes ages without Tim to give us the power. Then our boss! Yes, I do. They must be in the lab. Yeah, I think you're right. What are we going to do? Jaunt in and surprise them? No, they'll be expecting us to do that. No, we'll walk in, and then if there's trouble, we'll jaunt out again. Come on.
Stephen? Stephen, are you there? No, wait. They may be able to pick up our TP transmissions. You're wasting your time trying to warn them. They cannot hear you. The band soaks up your telepathic transmissions. Carol, John, look out! Oh, let him shout. They cannot hear him. Accepted as planned. John. 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 Replace the damaged interceptor immediately. Righto. But what happened to him? They're in a safe place. Where? They cannot escape. Where? Hyperspace. Come again? Hyperspace. Where the ex-hyperspace? Everywhere, nowhere. Oh? That fragment of time without time that lies between the end of one microsecond and the beginning of another one. That space that isn't space that lies between the curving dimensions of eternity. Oh, yeah? Dimensions which make star travel possible, time travel possible. Star travel? That is right. You're joking. I have no time to argue with you. All that guff about hyperspace. You're not going to believe it, are you? Why don't you shut your trap? He's using you, and you know it. Might be as well if you found out why. I said shut up, or I'll send you into hyperspace. Leave us. For the boy. I said leave us. Reports. We expect to have assembled a complete crew within the next Earth day. Three of the four subjects are within our hands. One here, two being held in hyperspatial suspension. Coordinates. Three, four, five, and seven, eight, zero, G. Drift velocity. Negligible in this sector. You know the risks inherent in hyperspatial suspension. Of course. Maintain tight contact. If we lose them, we shan't have time to find replacements. Acknowledge. John? Carol? Kenny? Where are we? I don't know for sure, but I got a pretty good idea. It was something I programmed Tim to look into a couple of weeks ago. It was the delay that started me thinking about it. What delay? Well, haven't you noticed? When we jaunt, I mean, there's always a couple of seconds delay between leaving point A and arriving at point B. Haven't you ever wondered where we are, or when we are, during those missing two seconds? What, here, you mean? Yes. But we pass through it so quickly, we don't even notice it. Yes, but what is it? Hyperspace. But if we pass through it all the time, that means that we must be able to get back, doesn't it? Well, theoretically, yes. Well, then. I've tried. It doesn't work. Not without Tim to give us the power for the bell. Oh. oh. oh I'm getting so sleepy. How do you keep my eyes open? Must be one of the side effects. Oh, well. A couple of hours sleep won't do us any harm, I suppose. No. No, I'm sure it's like going to sleep in the snow. I'm sure it's dangerous. <laughs> it's no use, kid. Them's good knots. We don't belong here. It's hyperspace. Trying to reject us, dissipate us. 
Falling asleep lowers our resistance. You must not fall asleep, Carol. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Soon be morning, won't it? John. Morning, Carol. John, Carol, Stephen, can you hear me? Carol, stop counting. It doesn't work anymore. You'll have to think of something else. I don't want to. Three hundred. Carol. Carol, wake up. Wake up, Carol. You must wake up. Kenny, don't move. It's a trip. Come on, quick. What are you going to do there, boss? You'll see. John and Carol are trapped in hyperspace. Tim, can you get them back? We've got to stay awake, Carol. We've got to stay awake. I need the hyperspatial coordinates. I heard Jedi Kai giving it. I think it's... Three four five seven eight zero G. Hurry, Tim, there isn't much time. I have tried. They are not at the coordinates you gave me. Oh no. I'll try another combination. I'll go do with our friend outside. Behind you, Stephen. No, you don't. Contact made. John, the door, quickly. You, Stephen? Fine, thanks. Oh, I thought you said that tomorrow people were peaceful and that they couldn't kill. So we can't. It's just a stun gun, Stephen. Is it loaded? Well, it's not loaded. Charged is more like it. It's uh, a stun gun fired on neutron power. It's a sort of
sort of ray gun, really, puts you to sleep. You see, there are rules which govern the behaviours of advanced beings. You learn them when we take you to other planets. You mean the people that kidnap me aren't from Earth at all? I'm absolutely certain of it. Where's Kenny? this place. They'll be back as fast as bats out of hell. Probably bring the fuzz with them too. Do as you want told. Take him to the sanctuary. What happened here last night, Stephen? I, I don't remember. We've got to know, Stephen. Who switched him off? I don't know. I remember having a meal and then I don't know. Let's try the link. What link? What are you going to do? We'll show you. The link won't work while Stephen wears the silencer band. Yes, take it off, Stephen. Don't no, touch it, Stephen. Stephen, what is it? The silencer band soaks up telepathic transmissions. That's why Stephen couldn't call you. Stephen, you cannot take it off without the power killing you. But we must get it off him, Tim. It stops him being a fully active tomorrow person. I have one suggestion, but it means risking Stephen's life. Go on. If John and Carol were to touch opposite sides of the band simultaneously, they could draw off enough of its power to lift it off before... Before it killed Stephen. Oh, come on, get on with it. Right. You must take great care to touch the band at exactly the same moment. Can you count us down, Tim? Yes. Ready? Carol? Yes. On zero, then. Five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Stephen, you were right. Fine, thanks. Right, let's get on with the link. Put your hands on the terminal. Spread your fingers and link. Contact him. Acknowledge. Check. Check. What's happening? It's a technique we have. It increases our perception enormously. What do you want us to do? I want you to think back, Stephen. Think back to last night. Last night. Last night. Last night. Nothing is wasted here. Now, to follow. Apple crumble, ice cream. Nothing more for me, thanks, Tim. to report 75% failure of this phase of the operation. Explain. The telepaths we are dealing with appear to possess an ingenuity far in excess of our expectation. I question the advisability of continuing with these subjects. It would be better to find more pliable material elsewhere. Impossible. The ergon supply is almost exhausted. In that case, I recommend an immediate strategic withdrawal from this base. A counterattack, either from the telepaths or from the local police forces, is anticipated at any moment. Acknowledge. It was me! It was me that switched him off. It's all right, Stephen. It wasn't your fault. It was. I let them in. You did it because you were under post-hypnotic suggestion. But I don't remember being hypnotized. You must have been. Jedekiah probably programmed you while he was holding you prisoner. 
No. If anything, with that creature with the one eye, his face keeps on flashing through my mind. Like the Cyclops from the Odyssey. Perhaps I read about it, or dreamt about it, or something like that. No, it wasn't a dream. There is a Cyclops involved with Jedekiah somehow, though how or why, I just don't know. Well, perhaps he could have hypnotized Stephen. Could be. Well, whoever it is, or whatever it is, he's after us with a vengeance. Come on, Jeromino. Jedekiah's got a special room for the likes of you. How's a prisoner of Zender then? Tucked up safe and sound? Out for the count, is he? Did you dish the ambulance all right? Yeah. It's a bit of a weirdo place, isn't it, Lefty? Yeah. Hi. Hi, what's going on then? I'm sorry, but I'm not going with you. But why not, Stephen? Because I don't want to. What about Kenny? None of my business. Well, look, Stephen, it wasn't your fault. Really, it wasn't. It could have happened to any of us. Look, please come with us. We need your help. How do you know I'll help? That one-eyed thing may take me over again and lead us into another trap. Not if you fight against it, Stephen. I can't do that. I'm not really one of you. I can't do half the things you do. But you are one of us. You can't go back now. Being a tomorrow person isn't easy, Stephen. Your responsibility is not only to us, Stephen, but to the future of the whole human race. See? Come on. All right? Right, we'd better take a look from the outside first, see if we can see which room they've got Kenny in. Okay? Oi! What's the idea of locking us in then? Silence. Look, Jelly Guy, them kids are gonna be here any minute. That is not important. By the time they get here, we will be gone. What's that then? Hey, that looks like a flipping time bomb. That is correct. Oi! What about us, then? Stay where you are. There is no cause for alarm. as if it came from in here. Better search the rest of the house. Now watch out, because Jedekiah might still be around. We better jaunt into the corridors first. I'll see you back here in five minutes, okay? Now what the hell's going on? Come on, Lefty, let's get out of here. The time bomb. It's a time mechanism, and we've got to find it. 
It's probably set off to let off another explosion. Come on, Lefty, we've got to open it. How did Jerry Kyle do it? I don't know. All he did was press something like that. It was here and that's definitely gone. This one. It is. Looks like some sort of secret panel. That wood's as thin as it looks. Some sort of metal alloy. The whole panel. Quick, jaunt, everybody. The loss of the base was unfortunate, probably disastrous. But unavoidable. Why were the two henchmen and the youngling brought? The youngling is probably telepathic. He may even have stronger powers than the others. The henchman may prove useful in the next phase of the operation. Let us hope so. <coughs> Suggestion. Don't worry, it fades away in time. Hope so. It's pretty insistent. Well, whoever it is who's got Kenny obviously doesn't intend us to find him. How do you know? That explosion. They were destroying the evidence. They've done a pretty good job. We've just lost our only lead. Come on, Jenny Carr, open this door before I put my boot through it! What do you mean we are? White mice or something? That's better. Silence. Silence yourself. Listen, anything you're talking to, eh? I'm not one of these mugs here, you know. I'm the leader of this outfit. You are nothing. Less than nothing. You what? A subhuman example of an inefficient species which is in the process of being replaced. And a very poor example of that. Oh, I see. Does that mean he thinks I'm stupid, Lefty? Stupid is a word which is inadequate to describe my assessment of your intelligence. Oh, yeah? Well, like my old fella used to say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but when it comes to the crunch, punch off! Oh! Now, since this ludicrous human guise is no longer necessary... Right, Stephen, Tim's gonna fill you in on the Cyclops. If one of them has taken over your mind, you might as well know as much about them as possible. OK, Tim? Fine. Cyclops means ring-eyed in Greek. The Cyclops are reputed to have had only one eye. When Odysseus left Troy to return home, he landed on the island on which they lived and took shelter with his men in a Cyclops cave. That one was called Polyphemus, wasn't he? Yes. Polyphemus shut the men in the cave and killed and ate some of Odysseus's men. But Odysseus blinded him and got away. Sounds like the right guy to have in charge of your mind. Don't forget, Stephen. All these characters are legendary and may not be real. After all, it is only a myth. Release him. Huh? The child. Untie him. He is coming with me. Where to? Just do as he says, kid. One is suitable. Keep him ready. You all right, kid? Yeah, I'm all right. Listen, what happened back there? I don't remember. Well, try and remember. We've got to find our way out of this place before Tinka and Tommy comes back and really starts playing rough. You hey, lefty. You think what I'm thinking? Hey. Eh? Just have to take our chance by him not being out there, won't we? Question is. Which one opens the door? Now, you're a bright kid killer. Which one do you think? You're wasting your time. Attention, everyone. I have an unidentified signal coming in on channel four. Video? No, audio. Greetings. Who are you? 
I am Cyclops. What have you done with Kenny? No harm will come to your friend if you obey instructions. What instructions? You possess a matter transmitter in your laboratory. So? You will please take note of the following coordinates. 439QR to the sign 976325QZ980693. Set your transmitter to these coordinates. I shall expect the three of you within one Terran hour. And if we don't come? You will come. If you wish to see your young friend again, that is all. Now can you help me out of card you? Yeah. Well, go on then. All right. Well, hey! coordinates are right, it means... Can you give us a visual fix on those coordinates, Tim? You might be able to do it through the satellite observer. Precisely what I intend. Are these really spacesuits? They look pretty flimsy. AEs, actually. AEs. Adaptable to any environment. They're quite self-contained and adjust to most conditions. Hope you're right. A sectorized picture from the satellite is coming up on the screen now. Sectorized further, Tim. 7.13. Burn marks. All along the side of the hull. What do you make of it, Tim? It is possible the ship has been damaged by a meteorite. What are we going to do? Walk straight into a trap? We don't really have much choice, do we? You all right, kid? Yes, thanks. Listen, what happened to you out there? I don't know. Stood in the machine. The next thing I can remember is being back here with you two. Look, kid, uh, <laughs> I don't know quite how to say this, but uh, well, I'm sorry about the mess we got you into. And you see, that jelly car, well, we thought he was on the level. A bit nutty, like, but on the level. I mean, he told us what he was doing was for the sake of the human race. And the you lot was just a bunch of freaks. He only said that so you'd help him. Yeah, but you're no ordinary kids, are you? Yes, we are. What a period, disappearing, all that gear you got. I keep thinking some horrible nightmare. At any minute, I'm going to wake up. Wish I was on the M1 being dumped for speeding. It's not a nightmare, it's for real. Well, what does he want with me and Lefty? It's not you he wants. It's us. <laughs> Reports. All systems functioning efficiently. We are ready. They will be trapped in the beam. Okay, Stephen, you're fine. Check my seal somewhere, will you please, Carol? Okay, John. Right. Let's go. I don't think you should. What? Don't go. But we've got to go, Tim. Kenny's in trouble. We don't know what might happen if we don't. You don't know what will happen to you if you do. But we can't leave Kenny to his fate. We wouldn't be tomorrow people if we could. That is understood, Carol. But I am certain Kenny does not want you to risk your lives for him. I'd just like one more crack at that robot, that's all. Ben what? It won't make no difference, Ginge. We're stuck on a spaceship and that's sad. Uh... Oh, shut up, Lefty. First thing we've got to do is get rid of old tin ribs. And who knows, then others may come and rescue us. You know, your lot, the tomorrow people. What will happen to other tomorrow people if you all get killed? What other tomorrow people? I thought there were only four of us. There are at the moment. I mean the thousands who have not yet broken out. When they do, they will need your help. Well, they'll manage somehow. I did. Set the coordinates, Tim. We've got to go. No, Tim's right. Let me go alone. It's me they want anyway. I insist that one of you stays. Well, then, in that case, it ought to be Stephen. It isn't really his fight anyway. It's my fight more than anybody's. I think Carol ought to stay. Yeah, I agree. Carol, you stay. Oh, no, look, we'd be all right if we just stick together. Ready? Check. Check. Oh, Carol, please stay in the lab. No, I'm coming with you. Oh, uh, all right. John is up, Tim. 
Activating. Tim? Do you want me up, Tim? Do you want me up? I am sorry, Carol. It is necessary for one of you to remain here. Where's Carol? I don't know. Carol? Carol? It's a trap! We're caught in the force field. Welcome. Yuggers are here. And they're in trouble. How do you know? Jelly Kai said that bane round your head stopped your special powers. I just know. Yeah? Well, we're not done yet. Carol! Carol, we've drawn it into a trap. Whatever you do, don't jaunt up here. The force field which holds you also prevents you from communicating. And this is any precaution I'm afraid. Are you the Cyclops? You would call me that. What do you want with us? That will be revealed in time. First, there should have been three of you. Where is the girl? You tell us. I will jaunt you up to the ship, Carol, but not to exactly the coordinates they specified. Take your stun gun. Oh, there isn't time. You must take your stun gun. Oh, all right. Got it. Activate. Check. Take care, Carol. An unidentified intruder has been detected. It may be the girl. Find her. I comply. What is a serious malfunction? Report immediately! Report immediately! Killer. We wait. They're getting close. Carol, John! Kenny, where are you? This far. Let us out, quick! Hey, look at it! Yeah, fine. Ginger left Ginger Yeah, must have flipped his lid or something. They're a boss now. I had to shoot him with a stun gun. Stephen, see if the corridor's clear. Okay. All clear. Okay, let's go. This works as the same as the other door. Doing this should lock it. I should keep our friend Jedi Car out for a while. Now let's see if we can find that Cyclops. It's some sort of an airlock. 
Perhaps the Cyclops can't breathe the same air as us. Maybe that's why his area is sealed off. We've got to get into that door. Why should he want to fill part of his own ship with an atmosphere he can't even breathe? Yeah, well, that's what I want to find out. Uh, Carol, you and Stephen have got AE suits on. You come with me. The rest of you stay here. What about me? No, Kenny, the atmosphere in there could be lethal without an AE suit on. You stay here with Ginge. We won't be long. Hey, Stephen. band is dropped off. Are you all right now? Fine. Chloe, look out! The robot's coming! Let's get out of the way! John, it's Jenna Kyle who's making his way in. Stay perfectly still where you are. Can't you turn him off? The control channel was thrown completely out of phase when the ship lurched. Now, be still! Storm. The, the tanks were punctured. Only the reserve tank remained intact, and I needed more telepaths. The cyclone drive of the ship is inoperable without them. Only they are capable of functioning efficiently over sustained periods of hyperspace. Without telepaths, how'd you get here in the first place? I, I had telepaths, a complete crew of them, oxygen breathing creatures like yourselves. Something out in hyperspace struck them down on the last phase of our jump. Slaves like galley slaves, you just kept them aboard to drive your ship for you. Not at all. Loyal members of my crew, everyone. I grieve for them. When we emerged into your solar system, they were all dead. And I was left with only one robot for company. So you try to press gang us into helping you? You only to get me home. You would have been returned to Earth unharmed and would have been well rewarded. Yes, but you should have asked us instead of trying to force us. I don't expect help from humans. Your planet has an evil reputation throughout the galaxy. The Earth? Yes. That is why so few space travelers from other planets visit you. You are always at war. You're no better. You have a history of war. You even fought your parents. That is what you have been taught. It is incorrect. Humans interpret events only in terms of violence. But what about Odysseus? The legend says that the Cyclops Polyphemus tried to kill him. The human version again. The official log of the expedition to Earth tells it somewhat differently. Oh, so let me read it sometime. Intergalactic records are not for humans to read. Not until you have advanced enough to be recognized. We have tried to advance you, but every time an ambassador from space is sent to Earth, he is slain. <laughs> we are a kind of ambassador, John, Kenny, Stephen and I. We're the Tomorrow People. I have been informed about you. You are mankind's only hope, but arm yourself against your own species. They will kill you if they find you out. <laughs> I have only a few Zorks of Ergon left in the ship's tanks. Enough for one Lorak. Less than two Earth hours. Oh, isn't there anything we can do? There is nothing. Even with a fully trained telepathic crew, it would take at least two days to reach the nearest planet. John, the door, look! <laughs> <laughs> the robot must have blasted it when he came in here. Uh, the Ergon has 
escaping fast. I have even less time. Joe, we've got to do something. This creature's dying. He needs our help. Tim, I need something to seal an analog door. The Cyclops is dying from lack of ergon. Instant CO sheeting 716. I'll jaunt you in to fetch it. Standing by. Now, come on, killer. What's going on in there? They're trying to help the Cyclops. You must be joking after all he's done to us. That's the way it is. You wouldn't understand. Too right, I would. Now, about a bit of charity bigger than home for a change, looking after number one. Yeah, we're your friends now. Oh, he knows that, Lefty, don't you, killer? What's much more to the point? Can those kids get us down to earth again? How is he? Not good. His temperature's dropping fast. Tim, do you know how to use one of these? <laughs> yes. The shooting should do the trick. We just might. I think I've worked out where he comes from. It's a system about 22 light years away. There's a Sophostrian lay beam travelling in that direction. If we could jaunt him on it and off it again at exactly the right moment, there's just a slim chance. But we don't even know if the Cyclops can jaunt. I know we don't, but it's worth a try, isn't it? We've still got the problem of getting those two subs back to Earth. We know they can't jaunt. Carol, that room you found us in is some sort of matter transmitter. Perhaps we could make it work again to get the saps down. Hey, what do you call us? Good idea, Kenny. I'll help you. See you there, Stephen. Hey, listen, what did you call us? Saps, short for Homo sapiens. That's what you are. Means man the wise. Homo? Come on, we're going back to the sanctuary. That way we might be able to get back to Earth. Kenny, did you think of that robot on your way over? No. Good, let's see what we can do with the matter transmitter. The robot is in the energy conversion. If he damages it, we will all be destroyed. <laughs> That's it. Ginger, you go back with Kenny. He'll look after you. I'm going back to Cyclops' control room and transmit you down from there. Hey, now, listen, kid. This room is going to get us back to Earth again, isn't it? Well, he got you here, so it ought to get you back. Mm -hmm. Did you get those figures? Yes. Mm -hmm. Will it work? Provided we can harness the power of the Cyclone engine. But there is a risk. What's that? <laughs> to produce the amount of power necessary for such a jaunt in a non-telepathic creature of that size is almost certain to cause severe overloading. Which means? If the power has to be sustained for too long, the ship is likely to vaporize. How are we doing, Tim? Critical fission approaching rapidly. You'd better get out of there. Go on, you two. No, no, not until you do. Worry about them when we get down to Earth. Pull us in, Tim, fast. races throughout the universe. Some go telepathic, some do not. Your own species man could still go either way. It's up to you. Well, there's one more of us now and soon there'll be more. So what happens now? You go back to hospital. Oh no. Oh yes, there's a police hunt on for you, remember? Well, I tell them. Nothing. You can't remember a thing, right? Well, just think you had another brainstorm and walked out. But you better get out of that suit and back into your pajamas first. And when everybody's lost interest in you, then we'll be in touch again. Up to now, you've had it easy. The hard part of being a tomorrow person comes later. What do you mean? You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see.